Bang! What's good with it? Uh, my camera look crooked. There we go. So look, I was just thinking like, I ain't never did a video where I went out, got my own meat, came home. I know everybody know how to clean a fish. Well, not everybody, because I got some homeboys that don't know shit about this. But I went out this morning, caught like 30 some crappie, because I want to have a fish fry. And I was thinking like, damn, Sean, you ain't never did no video where, you know what I'm saying? You went out and caught some shit, came home, cleaned it, and cooked it. So, as you can see, I got a pile of fish heads already been cleaning fish. But these right here, these last few, I am going to cook right now. So, pop his head off, cut him down the belly, my knife getting dull, I don't want to sharpen it again, because I only got two more fish in the sink to go, plus this one. So, I'm going to come back to y'all. Once I get all this done, and I'm ready to fry up some, I'm ready to fry up some fish. So look, this the last one, and that's a little yellow belly cat. I ain't never ate one of these. Usually, fish for flathead catfish with them, but I thought I'd just bring this one home and fry it. Just to see how these little yellow motherfuckers are. How they taste. So, what are we doing? Ooh! Oh, Paula gonna kill me! This motherfucker, he done flash, splash blood all up on the damn shade. Dude, you're toast. Listen to Mikael over there. Dude, you're toast. Yeah, I'm toast. Oh, yeah, that was true. I'm toast if you don't clean these shades off. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only way I'm toast. Now all we're going to do, we're going to pop his head off. Just like that. This is why I don't do fish. <laughs> this is why you don't do fish. The smell, the cleaning... He said the smell, the cleaning. Son, fish is good. No, not for me, I mean. <laughs> it's slight. Yeah, my son, Mikael, he don't like fish. We always got to cook him something different. All right, y'all. I'm just about done. So, let me get this mess here cleaned up. I'm going to get back to y'all. All right, so look. This is how I'm going to prepare this batter. I got a little water in this bowl. Because Paula don't like me using up all her milk. So, I put a little water in it so I don't have to listen to her mouth. Give me a second. Give me a second. Getting this stuff out as I go. All right. I'm going to add two eggs. Throw this away. All right, so... Beat this in like this. Get the eggs beat up. Yeah, that will that will bring that will gain crazy. 
All right, so there we go with that. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take our fish, place it in here. I left one hole, well, I left one crappie hole. I left that little catfish hole. Then I got some pieces that I, I cut up from the rest of the karate. I'm just gonna get that in there like that. You know what I'm saying? Let them sit in there, get nice and wet, and I'll be back. Okay, so now this is what we're gonna do while this grease get hot. We're gonna take this fish and we're gonna batter it the first time. Because we're gonna batter it this time. Get it all nice and coated. Then we're gonna let it sit on this paper plate right here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but this paper plate right here. And when the grease get hot, we're gonna batter it again. That way we get a nice thick coat on it, but a crunch as they call it here in my house. They want their fish crunchy. All right, they're my two whole pieces. And we get these little half pieces done. And this white, this cornmeal, it's nothing special. Little white cornmeal, yellow cornmeal. And I got some flour in it to help it to make it stick. Put a little flour in there so that flour will help that cornmeal stick. If you don't put no flour in it, your cornmeal just wash off. You ever go to somebody's house and they cook fish? And you like, damn, where the bread in that? They ain't put no flour in it. Cornmeal falling off. You gotta have something to help that cornmeal stick to your fish. All right, one more piece. <coughs> Get it nice and coated, nice and, some people call it breaded, coated, whatever you wanna call it. Just make sure you got it on there. All right, look. Let this grease get hot. I got some french fries in the uh, microwave thawing out so I could fry them too. So I'm gonna get back with y'all. Okay, so I'm back. My camera going? Yeah. So look, like I said, when I come back, we uh, was gonna batter these again before we dropped them in the grease. Actually, I got one in there already. I had going just to tell when my grease got hot. Like I said, I just did this video because I ain't never did no video where I just went out in the morning, got me some fresh meat, like an Indian, you know, come back home, stick it in some hot grease, and fry it. And I mean, ain't nothing like some fish. Who don't like fish besides my son, Mikhail? Actually, you can see how nice and coated that is. That's gonna be crunchy. So we're gonna let them fry. I'm gonna get back to these two whole ones I got. And I'm gonna see y'all in a few minutes. All right, so look, this fish has been floating to the top, been floating on the top, brother. So that's telling me it's done. So I'm gonna take this first batch out. Turn that grease off there. Y'all see how, I'm gonna draw grease everywhere. Y'all see how that look? 
how nice and golden brown that piece of crop is. And they all look like that. Because I cook them. I don't like to lay my fish flat. I like to stand it up so the grease drip down and it don't lay in, you know what I'm saying, the grease that the paper don't soak up. So I'm just going to sit them around the edges. Can you see that? Can you see how I'm just sitting around the edge? No, you can't see that. So I'm going to bring this last piece out. Get them set up there. And we're going to drop these last two poles. That's that catfish. I mean, who don't like a whole catfish? And that's the last crappie. See how golden brown the pieces is. Oh, I can't wait to put some hot sauce on it. I can't wait till all this get through frying. Yeah, Paul, I'm going to save you some, baby. Don't worry. I know you love fresh fish. Nothing like going out in the morning and getting it. So, I'll bring y'all back. I got to deal with these fries. Last time I was messing with y'all, them fries almost burning. All right, so look. Because this fish done cool down. I just want to show you a piece of it. Whew, I guess it ain't cool down. Look down in there. <laughs> what that look like? I'm just playing. Look down in there though. That's all white meat. Let's bust them open. If you pull that top fin out, them bones will come out on top. It'll leave the middle rib bone. Mikel, you want a piece of this fish? No, thank you. Y'all hear that crunch? This fresh out the water this morning. Ain't nothing like it. Thought I had a bone. Okay, so slide that over there. That bone out the way. Grab these last two pieces out. That's that cat. Ooh, he, <clears throat> I'm gonna say <clears throat> I'm gonna say him for Paul. That's that crop. Like I say, I tilt them up so the grease run down. Don't see, you know when you. When you use newspaper to catch a grease, it kind of, when the newspaper won't soak it up no more, it, it kind of pull down there. So your fish sitting on it, I mean the underside of that fish going to get salt, soggy. It's not going to be crunchy. So, while I got this on my mind, I'm going to move this off the eye because that's the, how I burnt the last house down. So I'm going to slide that back. I'm going to slide this back. Y'all go because I gotta go get me a cold Pepsi. Man, that boy a little big. <laughs> Let me stop playing. I'm gonna go get me a Pepsi, man, so I can sit down and eat. I'm gonna holler at y'all. Today, on top of the stove, TOT, I'm the recipe.